Hi, and welcome to HUR at Home. I'm your host, Angela Stribling. You know, every Thursday night, this is where we bring the top of the top of the music industry. And tonight is no different. I am so happy to see my friend. She has a powerhouse. I mean, as soon as you hear her vocals, you know who she is. Indeed, one of a kind. She's always on the top of the charts. And WHUR is always rocking her music. Well-deserved. Please welcome Miss Leela James. Hello. Hello. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy to see you again. I think the last time I saw you on this platform, it was April. We got a chance to chit chat. Yes, it was almost. Yeah, you're about yeah. right. It's almost a year ago. Mm -hmm. It was almost a year ago. So it's so good to see you. You're looking fabulous. This hair. I'm Thank like, you. man, your hair is so fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So how have you been since I've talked to you? I've been good. I've been well. How about yourself? I've been good too, you know, just uh, working a lot from home, but of course, you know, in the studio as much as I can. How about getting out? Have you been out performing, doing concerts? How's it been for you? Yes, I have been out. Um, I've done some shows since the last time we've spoken. Um, and it was initially a little awkward, a little weird. Yes. I had to, yeah, just readjusting to, to everything, but I've definitely been out, um, but I've been safe. So it's been good. That's the key, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's the key. Because it's so good to be out. I was just doing something a couple weeks ago. I host the Black Engineer of the Year Awards, and I hadn't been around people like that. Right. Oh my God. It's so good for your soul, right? It is. It's it's good, but at the same time, like I'm I'm a homebody. So yeah. I didn't mind being in and, right. and being healthy and safe. So <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um I, I, I definitely enjoy getting back out though, but yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that about you. Leela James is a homebody. I can relate as much as, you know, I'm out because of my career and I love being out, yeah. but just as comfortable, even just by myself. Absolutely. Absolutely. So much peace there. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I was just, uh, just finding out some information about you and uh, you have the same birthday as my mom. Are you June 2nd? No, you know, I don't know why people, my mother is June 3rd. I am oh. actually May 22nd. So somehow that information over the years has always gotten mixed up. There's a two in there and there's a June someplace, but it's it's mixed up. It's my mother. Hilarious. And it, yeah, so, and yeah, we're, we're all Gemini's. We're all Gemini's. <laughs> Look, man, yes, you're yes. second and your mom is May something, I'm sure. Right, right. Oh, okay, well then forget the, the Gemini references I was getting ready to come up with. <laughs> oh, mom, she's just like me, I mean, and you, where, you know, she's so comfortable in her own skin, but then mm -hmm. when she's out in the crowd, she's, you know, gregarious and, and it all works out. Mm -hmm, absolutely, that's that Gemini. As that Gemini. So, and I'm not a Gemini, I'm a Libra, but I, okay. love, I love my Geminis. Absolutely. So, and I love you, Leela James. Thank and I you. Love, love you too. We've known you, each other for years. A long time. When you first came out, you hit the ground running. Mm -hmm. People were like, this woman here, this voice right here. <laughs> you know, Grammy nominations, so trained music award nominations, and, uh, top of the billboard charts and your music, you have a way, of course, the lyrics, but you sing, just your vocals just really hit people right in their solar plexus. And that I think is what all the artists are trying to do. You know, you want to communicate whatever it is that you're trying to sing, but you're, you're latest, you're the one. I am so feeling that. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's definitely... One of my favorites, you're the one. <laughs> one of my favorites is um, mm. off my See Me album. So I'm excited that, you know, um, we are we are on this next single. So it's it's been a, a wonderful journey so far. Tell me about the song. I mean, I, you know, going from, what is it? Uh, what was the song? Complicated. Yes. Going from complicated and, you know, just get out of my face. <laughs> to you're the one and it's upbeat it's it's danceable it's yes. a little different from the last couple of songs right and, and so tell us all about that who produced it and you know tell us all about the song yeah well the song um 
it's definitely self explanatory with the title you're the one um it's just recognizing the person that you know that is in front of you and, and a lot of times that's the person that's in the mirror saying to yourself you're the one you know what i mean you're the one that i've been looking for all this time you know sometimes we um question and doubt ourselves and everything that is in us is always right there from the beginning that we've been looking for so it's saying to really saying to, to myself you're the one like you've been the one oh i love that so much mm -hmm. I mean that is nothing but the truth. And oftentimes people look outside of ourselves for right. validation, be right. it your sweetheart or friendships or even workmates everywhere, but within. So what, what inspired this? What inspired this song for you? Well, the whole um, album, if you, if you, I don't know if you've heard the whole album, but the whole album is entitled See Me. So I'm, I'm, I'm touching on so many different things, um, interpersonal things, um, some social issues and, um, I just went within, I went deep with this record and I, there was just deep without being like overly deep, but just deep enough to like acknowledge that, you know, um, during the beginnings of this pandemic, I definitely was able to, you know, spend some time with myself and just really um, recognize that, you know, again, I, I'm, I'm the one like in, and, in. And, yeah. and, I wanted to write about some of those things and that's what inspired just the overall the last couple of years and just really taking the time to you know be at one with myself and um being honest yeah that's so beautiful i mean like you said just taking into account people had to spend a lot of time oftentimes just by themselves during the pandemic mm -hmm. we're still in it it's not yeah. really over so you know they're saying in many places you can take the mask off I'm keeping my mask on. Thank you. Yeah, very much. all these different variants that just keep popping up. I don't need me yet. No, I, I, in fact, I wear two, three masks. <laughs> we just need to double and shrivel up just in case. Yeah. You know what I mean? And this whole thing has really taught us a lot. You know, just as Absolutely. you're saying, to your point, I mean, it's, it does give you a chance to sit down, just stop what you're doing, mm -hmm. see what's working, see what's not working, maybe rebrand, regroup, whatever you need to do, but to really, you know, sit with yourself for a minute. This is your one shot, you know, with that mm -hmm. time. Yeah. yeah. Right? I definitely feel like um, the pandemic birthed a lot of reflection. And if it didn't birth that in you, then you you've been under a rock someplace because I don't know how you've missed yeah. everything that's going on around us and, and continues as you said we're not out of anything in fact it seems like we're getting deeper and deeper into whatever this is so yeah. it's high time if anything to get more in tune to you know the things that are really most important you know and and um that begins with you know your self uh uh examination and 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 you know, family and things, again, things that I feel like are like most important. I love that. I mean, and you're kind of getting rid of a lot of the stereotypes of people in Los Angeles. You're from LA, right? Born and raised. South Born and raised. Yeah. And, you know, I, you hear a lot of people on the East Coast and a lot of people on the West Coast just saying, you know, LA, everybody wants to be a star. It's superficial. It's this, it's that. Hmm. And you are- and most of those people ain't from LA. <laughs> right, exactly, <laughs> because what you're saying and what you are, what you're representing is totally not that. It's completely the opposite of that. It's what's mm. really real, mm -hmm. right? Right, absolutely. Where would you say that comes from? Um, Probably my foundation, my grounding and um, my family, you know, how I was raised. My family is originally from the South, so, um, I think a lot of those Southern ways and roots and, and, and values just never left our family particularly. And it's just, you know, I just happened to be born in LA, but my roots and, and my beliefs are Southern based. Girl, you and I are probably cousins. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm from Buffalo, New York, but all of my family, they are from the South. Yeah. I mean, so many people say, even though you're from, you know, so far up North, yeah. like, you, I have a Southern personality and I'm, I'm grateful for that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, Absolutely. You're, that's your roots. It's my roots. And, you know, even speaking of that, your music, your, your singing is always so soulful. And I, I, 
I know that comes from the South as well. You know, blues, all of that. Talk about some of your influences and, and where your style comes from. Well, I think you just said it, you know, me, you know, having Southern roots and also being born and raised in a really city slick type of place in yeah. South Central LA, I feel like I have had the best of both worlds in yeah. terms of my background. And so I heard, you know, funk, I heard blues and I was raised in the church. So of course I heard gospel music and um, I think I'm just a big jambalaya of all of that, you know, now um, me as an artist, as a, as a singer, um, I'm a mixture of, of, of my um, upbringing in my, in my environment, what I heard. And I was um, exposed to the BB Kings, the Al Greens and the parliaments and, you know, but you know, run DMC too, you know, I had, I had it all. So, and, and, and the two shorts and the E forties, you know what I'm saying? So I, I like, it it, it 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 didn't get no better you know than that for me you know um i love all kinds of music but i especially love black music and yeah 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 you know we're very fortunate to have you because leela you stand out i mean you're your own in your own lane <laughs> and that's unusual in this music industry a lot of people kind of sound like somebody else and you know kind of doing what needs to be done in order to get the radio airplay or you know what i mean you've never yeah. On that route and yeah. what helps you stay true to that um I, it's, it's it's not hard for me <laughs> because yeah. i'm driven for by the love of music you know uh, for my love of music i should say that's my passion i was never driven by um anything beyond that not money um none of the material things that come along with the industry um you don't really see me out like that you know mm -hmm. I, I live a really regular plain life. I take my own kids to school, you know what I mean? I cook my own meals, all that kind of stuff. So I think all of that keeps me very much so grounded in my family. Again, just my upbringing, you know, this is what I do. It's not necessarily who I am, you know what I mean? And it's what I love to do, mm -hmm. but I'm, I'm so many other things as well. I'm a mother, I'm a daughter, I'm a interior designer. Like, you know, I love you real I love the garden. I love to, yeah, uh, you know what I mean? You're an interior designer? I, yeah, I love to decorate. I, you can catch me watching HDTV like on the weekends like, with some popcorn all day. Like, absolutely. Oh, I love so, it. I'm, you know, the things that, you know, might drive other artists or people, you know, um, they don't, it don't, it don't phase me. It don't, you know, move me one way or the other. I love it. I love the versatility. You were on Dancing with the Stars? Mm-hmm. I, I swear it. I sang. Yes, I was. Oh, dang on it. I thought maybe you were no, I wasn't dancing. I was oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what about the Victoria's Secret fashion show? What did you do on that? Same thing. I was singing. Okay. Sang, um, oh, I was the, but I was the first black in artist and soul artist to sing on their fashion show platform like that. How was yeah. that? This little black girl. It was powerful. It was wonderful. Yeah. 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 Uh, it was it was it was an amazing amazing experience a beautiful mm. moment you're such an old soul to be so young and i feel like we just need to protect and preserve you because what you're doing i just want you to just stay true to who you are and i know there's no chance of you not doing that <laughs> thank you i appreciate that i really yeah. do i really appreciate that i i receive all of that Good, yes. Well, we actually, you know, just rocking your music all the time. We love Leela James. And I love y'all back, man. Thank y'all so much. Y'all been rocking with me from day one, my day one. So um, I don't take it for granted. Like I said, it's such a um, wonderful feeling for me to have that support. And it keeps me grounded, you know what I mean? Because, it, you know, it's very easy, I think, to, you know, get lifted, if you will, in this industry and, and buy into your own Mm -hmm. Want to be hype and next, it's like, come on, man! Like, <laughs> <laughs> I like how you put that. Get lifted. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would really have to use that one. That's pretty sure. <laughs> Thank you. I'll give you credit. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Leela. Thank you so much for joining and us. And thank you, thank you for having me. Really? Thank y'all. Thank y'all again for continuing to support me. Always, always, and you know, keeping it positive is. We all appreciate it. And as you know, we all need it. And you do it in a way that's not preachy. Like you said, you, you know, you went in, but you don't go in too deep where you come out, you know, preaching to everybody. You do it in such a way that people can receive it and be entertained and, and just love it. Thank you.
You're welcome. Shout out your social media. Oh, yes, indeed. Y'all follow me on Instagram, IG, Leela James Official. Leela James Official on Twitter as well. Then I'm also on Leela James Musician Facebook. And now I have a TikTok. I'm not on there that much. I got like three followers, but I have a TikTok account. <laughs> I'm going to be following all of it. I'm pretty sure I'm following you on IG, yeah. but I'm going to follow you everywhere else. So thank you so much. Oh, you're so welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you all for joining us. H-U-R at home. Special guest, Leela James. How we love her so much. You're the one. You can always hear it on 96.3 W-H-U-R. Thank you for keeping us your number one radio station in Washington, D.C. We've been sitting up here for a while and we don't want to move. So it's all because of you. Thank you. And uh, keep checking us out on H-U-R at home. If you've missed any of the shows, go to WHUR.com. Follow us on social media at WHURFM. Follow me too at Angela Stribling on all platforms. And don't forget, Pillow Talk with Angela every Sunday night right after Manzi Pullen and the original Quiet Storm. Have a good night.